If you're going to own the weather by 2025, you will have to own the lightning too, or just make some. Since my initial clues came from the lack of typical summer afternoon lightning and storms, I paid close attention to the few lightning storms I've seen in the last year, and I recorded them. Starting with the Sony night vision camcorder, I focused the lens on this electrical burst that appeared out of nowhere one late evening. I judged the cell to be somewhere around 10 to 15 miles away at most. Though the lightning did not produce a sound, I brushed it off as heat lightning until I found out that heat lightning does not exist. Only muffled sound does. I remember picking out and isolating video captured lightning bolts from a dying storm weeks before, only to notice that on the video editor, the cut areas were evenly spaced out, like the bolts were timed. I then went back to the silent storm and isolated the flashes in that video. A few things showed up. One, the bolts seem to travel from left to right, starting with a spark at the same place each time that also illuminated a delta shape above it. Two, the bolts seem to show up at the same spots in the clouds each time, moving horizontally until the energy was dispersed, sometimes with ground contact. Three, each targeted spot in the clouds that emanate electricity tended to show a rhythmic pattern as well, which corresponded with each other spot. Four, after knowing what the aircraft looked like, their shadows began to reveal themselves in the video. By tracing out the shadows on video frames and comparing, I realized that yes, the lightning was fake and that yes, the craft were responsible. Some bolts were even sparking below the cloud layer and into a cross pattern.
I then studied more closely the lightning storm I recorded on August 29, 2011. I had heard this one coming in and inspected the radar, only to find a very unusually dense red storm cell moving in from the west-northwest, without any surrounding bad weather to support it. This is the lightning storm that set the marsh fire next to NASA in New Orleans East. The marsh fire that was started just before Tropical Storm Lee was to come ashore. The marsh fire that was blamed for the citizens of the city getting sick and going to hospitals with respiratory problems. The marsh fire that apparently could not be extinguished because of the remoteness from solid ground, but satellite photos show a road running right through the middle of the area. The marsh fire that burned for months created fog and haze near the interstate, resulting in multiple car pileups and multiple deaths. The marsh fire that prompted the EPA to declare heavy particulate matter warnings and to stay inside. The marsh fire that was said to burn old car tires and junk that was illegally deposited on federal land for years. Did you notice the bolts were coming from the same spots? Or that there were two colors of lightning? Or as recent as May 22, 2012, another silent lightning storm. This time I captured the radar image. This fake storm is at most 16 miles away. I captured only 10 bolts at the end, with 9 of the 10 grouped in a pattern. Also, notice where the bolt sparks and notice the cloud shapes. Here's how it's done. The initial electrical charge comes from one of the large ships, probably generated by the fan slash coil engine. The charge travels along its spine and electrified pathways onto the next craft behind it. This craft relays the charge to the next one and so forth until the charge is funneled to the smaller ships hanging lower to the ground. Boom. Pick a target. It was an act of God. Or men playing God. <laughs> 